Welcome back. Today I'm going to talk to you about my preparation of moving to the UK and specifically the University of Warwick. So I do a settled status and I have lived and I technically do live in the UK, but I've had an extended holiday with my family in Germany. Well, I mean, they live in Germany and I went to visit them because of COVID. So that's why my stay here was a bit longer. But now it's time to move back and I have booked my coach ticket. I mean, normally you take the plane um, when you go to the UK, but um, it's quite expensive still. And since I know I'm not just going to take one suitcase, but probably another smaller one or maybe a bigger one, I've yet to decide, it's cheaper to just take the coach so that's what I'm going to do I booked the coach ticket a couple of days ago and it cost me 50 euro for the ticket and 3.99 for an additional luggage in that case it's another 20 kilo bag suitcase I can take with me which I think is cheap so um, I had a discount from the ADAC in Germany where my family or my father is a member of that gave me another 10% so the next step was actually checking the corona travel restrictions I'm going to well the coach will go from Germany into France into Belgium and from Belgium into or to the UK to London we are probably going to take the Euro tunnel. It's really funny. You go on the bus and you drive with the bus onto this kind of like train, but it's like enclosed. But it's really like quick, I think half an hour and then you're on the other side. But before then, you have to go through checkpoints like um, the French side. They do um, immigration checks and a couple of meters further the UK does but it's fine as long as you got all the documents but also have to do a corona test and fill out a passenger locator form before I leave to the UK so my coach is leaving on the 24th which means that I have to take the test on the 23rd which is a Thursday so I do have some time but before I leave a couple of things I still have to do because in Germany when you are there for um, a longer period of time, which unfortunately you had to be, then you have to register at the town hall, at the Einwohnermeldeamt. Because I'm going to leave for a longer period of time, I have to go there and say, I'm leaving, take me off the register. And then when I have that, you get a certificate saying you no longer live there. And then I have to send that to my health insurance company. And I have to give them that certificate and my ticket to the UK so they can and will release me. I had to go through that before and they are not quick in cancelling your health insurance despite the, that the law says if you don't live here in Germany you do not have to pay and have health insurance in Germany and they just kind of ignore that. So because the coach is going into France and is going to Belgium first before moving on to the UK I had to have a look what are the restrictions in France and what are the restrictions in Belgium when you're going there I found a really good website it's called reopen reopen.europa.eu it's a really great page on there you've got the map of the EU on the left hand corner you can choose your country that you are going to so for me that is going to be first of all france on the website then it tells you the um a couple of information a bit of information first of all the eu digital covid certificate is valid there i do have that if you are fully vaccinated you can upload that um, certificate onto a mobile app and you can do that in any you member state and then they recognize that across the member states so i have that and that already helped me a lot before when i was doing um, a summer language teacher job and it's going to be so useful again so 
when I will be going into France. Even though it's just a transit, I do have to pay attention. It does say on the website, what are the rules to enter this country from an EU member state or Schengen associated country? Germany fits the bill. Travelers need to present a declaration that they do not have COVID-19 symptoms and that they have not been in contact with a confirmed case in the 14 days before their travel. Non-vaccinated travelers arriving from Spain, Portugal, Cyprus, Malta, the Netherlands and Greece must present a negative PCR or antigenic test taken less than 24 hours before departure. So, for me, that means I only need to fill in a declaration. Simple enough for me. I'm double vaccinated, so if nothing changes, I'm going to be totally fine. Next, what about Belgium? Again, same process. On the left-hand side, I choose Belgium. Then, again, the EU digital COVID certificate is valid in that country. It should be, it is in the EU. Now, what are the rules to enter this country from an EU member state or Schengen associated country? All persons coming or returning to Belgium or traveling through Belgium must fill out a passenger locator form within 48 hours before arriving in Belgium. A self-assessment tool is integrated into the passenger locator form. There is an exception for people staying in Belgium for less than 48 hours. Persons who travel to Belgium by boat or plane are always obliged to fill in the passenger locator form. The obligations of testing and quarantine depend on the color of the area of origin, green, orange, red. However, from 19th July 2021, strict rules can apply to travelers coming from EU and Schengen associated countries characterized by high rates of variants of concern. So, for me, that means I am less than 48 hours in Belgium, which means I pose an exception and I do not need to fill in a passenger locator form. Now, it also doesn't say I need a test or proof of vaccination, but because I'm going to the UK, which requires that, I will have a test anyway with me. Into the UK, I have to fill out a passenger locator form. In addition, I need to show a negative test certificate. Now, it does say it has to be in English. So I have to see how that goes. Because obviously, if I'm going to be in Germany and taking a test, an antibody test, you don't necessarily need a PCR test. It has to be in English. And I'm not sure if all the test centers will be able to do that. So I will have to check. Although I have seen quite a few test certificates that were in German and in English. So yeah, I will have to double check. In the passenger locator form, I haven't looked at it in detail yet. Obviously, you have to also include your address. Now, going to Warwick, I have student accommodation which means that I'm going to be in London, Victoria, taking the underground or the tube to London, Euston. And from there, I'm taking a train to Coventry. And from the Coventry railway station, I'm going to take a bus to the campus. There, I have to collect my keys in the university house, I think it's called. And from there, I can go to my accommodation. And as far as I know, that's the time when I pick up my key that I will be told my full address now on the passenger locator form you have to put down the full address so i have to have another look how i'm going to do that then in addition you have to book a day two test which means once you have arrived in uk you have to take that test you have to order that prior to arriving and that's again a point i have to consider because i need to have that test sent somewhere. I have looked at many pieces of information on the Warwick University's website and I actually have found information on that and they tell you the specific address that you have to put down so when I collect my keys I will also be handed my corona test that I need to take for day two. So that's pretty simple. As far as I know when I go there to pick up my keys I will also get my student ID card Obviously, I will get the keys and the test and I feel like there's something else. I just can't remember. But uploading a photo for the Warwick ID card 
caused the problem because the passport sized pictures are too small for some reason and you're not allowed to smile but I haven't really got a good one so the one I have now I'm not really happy so I'm going to change the photo probably again because that photo will also be on the system but it's there for now in case I forget it's it's an okay picture but it needs to be there. Back to the journey from Germany to Warwick. From Germany I cross into France into Belgium and from there we're actually going to go back to France to Calais. The Euro tunnel where which we will be using I'm pretty sure will leave at Calais and will end in Folkestone so we're crossing the English Channel. But there's still a distance from Folkestone to London Victoria it's around 70 miles still left and it takes probably another hour and a half if not a bit longer to get into London Victoria which is where my coach trip will end not my journey once I've arrived there it's supposed to be 20 past 8 in the evening and I hope they are on time from there I have to take the tube like I said to London Euston from London Euston to Carpentry which is another hour and a half I think it's not too expensive I'm gonna book it soon after I get my ray card and then from there I'm gonna take the bus so it's going to be a bit of a long journey but I'm going to make some videos I'm probably going to be listening to podcasts and once I'm in Warwick I can do some more videos but for now that is my journey that I'm going to have to take. 